you get three lives when you attack powerful people. They first ban you and try and shut you up. Secondly, they'll put you in jail for something you didn't do. You know we've done nothing wrong. The case file is complete. And thirdly, they'll kill you. They see me as a threat because of my mass influence. We're in the middle of the greatest battle that humankind has ever faced. We're currently in a fight of good versus evil. And unless people stand up and actually try and fight hard for good and for God, then we're going to end up in absolute tyrannical slavery. I don't know if you know the story of Socrates. Socrates had to poison himself. He was arrested and he was accused of corrupting the youth. He was tried for making the young military-aged men of Greece think for themselves. That's not allowed. Since it's dawn of human time, you're not allowed to do that. And I'm committing the cardinal sin. I'm saying to men, listen, they're trying to tell you X, and that's garbage. The truth is Y. And that's why they want to try and get rid of me. People are scared to say that water is wet. And then I come along and say water is wet, and everybody secretly agrees, and that's why I have such a massive fan base. I'm telling men to stand up and to be strong and to think for themselves, and that makes you resist to slave programming. The powers that be want to make sure that the male populace is as docile as possible. So they try and keep this population subdued, and I'm telling them to do the opposite. I'm telling them to think, and that's the last thing they want. This is why they fear male agency so much, because when men truly wake up and decide to be the best versions of themselves, they're hard to control. I teach men to be strong, how to be hardworking. You're a positive influence, man. You're just reinforcing positivity in people. <laughs> I'm absolutely a positive influence, and that's the problem. The key word there is influence. The reason the Matrix has attacked me is because of that. It's because yeah. I am an influence. They don't like influence because I have not sold my soul. And normally when you become massively influential, they control you. They will never promote anything unless it detriments masculine imperative. The reason that depression is promoted is because it allows you to become ultimately selfish, live inside of your mind, become obsessed with me, 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 I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad. So you don't pay enough attention to what's going on around you to realize you're getting fucked by ruling class who don't give a shit. They have been deliberately trying for a very long time to reduce the masculine essence. Let me tell you something. Revolutions are nothing more than a bunch of men in one place. It's not women, it's men. If you put enough men on a city square pissed off, a revolution happens. That's what the people in charge of the world are afraid of. We are fighting a war right now, and there is a war against our minds. How do we win this war? Say it's a spiritual war, you need to believe in God, you need to be a good person, you need to be physically strong, mentally strong. I did not miss a single day's push-ups in that cell. I wasn't too depressed to train. I knew the guards were watching me, so I will do push-ups at them. I didn't do push-ups for me. I did push-ups at them endlessly. I need to work as hard as possible and become financially successful because when you have money, you can resist. They print money. It seems to be that evil always has the advantage, but somehow good wins in the end. All we can do is tell the truth. All we can do is encourage you to tell the truth. We do not encourage anybody to do anything violent or crazy. All we want is for people to have open and honest discourse and tell the truth about our message and stick to the truth of God. The baseline of masculinity is that bad things are going to happen to you and you're going to absorb them and you're going to use them and to grow into a more competent individual. If you look at what society expects of men and what even females expect of men, they expect a man of competence. And for you to be competent, you have to have lived through some things. To be good at being a man, you have to have had a hard life. If you look at any superhero, his life was hard. This is the reality of it. And I think that the demasculinization of men is a genuine plague we are suffering with in the West. It's good, strong men that have always protected the society. And if you look at a society in decline, it is down to a lack of masculinity, not too much masculinity. That's what a man should do. He should stand up, protect his family, care about his country, care about his empire, be a man. I've got all your backs. I'm here to tell the truth. I'm martyring myself. They're trying to destroy me and put me in jail because I'm standing up for you. If you're a fan of mine, you're an extremely diligent, hardworking person who's trying to become as strong as possible and trying to become as rich as possible because you understand that is how you save yourself, you save the people you care about, you save the people you love, and you save the world. It's how you protect yourself as a man. It's also how you protect your women or your woman or your mother or your daughters or your children. All of it requires you to be physically strong and for you to be financially savvy. You're not working to make money so you can buy a Lamborghini. You're working to make money. You're thinking outside of the box and you're becoming your best version of yourself so all the people around you will always be okay no matter what happens. It is your job as a man to suffer.